Hold on one second. I think the girl's messaging me. Like I was saying, I was sitting, I was sitting down editing my video. Watch her. And I finished editing my video, so I was gonna upload. Well, I wasn't going to upload, it was currently uploading, but the Wi-Fi was like very slow where I was. I don't like this, I don't like this favor. He bought the wrong one for me. But he's gonna go get that. He's gonna go get fruit punch. Fruit punch is my favorite one. I don't know how people eat drink that one. Mm -mm. But Can you hear me, guys? Because I feel like I'm talking, but no one can't hear me. Where's Shelly? What, what's this? Do you not think I'm Shelly's mother? Shelly's out having fun, doing what she needs to do. She's on, she's on vacation in Jamaica. Let me get my grinder. Like, just because you see me with her, don't mean I'm going to be like 24-7. She didn't come to Jamaica for me. We, we're not that far from each other, but like, let me tell you, let me tell you like something what you don't need to understand, right? And just a disclaimer, just a disclaimer, I'm not disrespecting Shelly in any form of way, but it's, it's just knowledge. Do you understand what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I fuck with her. She fucks with me. Do you understand what I'm saying? We're not best, best friends, bro. What the fuck? And if me and her said we was bestest friends, we'd be lying. We just fuck with each other. We're lit. Do you know what I mean? We love each. We like each other's vibe and that. Obviously, know her because she's from the UK and whatever. So someone messaged me. Know her because she's from the UK, and I show her love on Instagram and social media because I actually like her. Do you understand what I'm saying? But are we best friends? No, we're not. And I'm like, did I used to choose her in London? No. Like, it's because I'm in Jamaica. She's in Jamaica. Pussy Clark, Rizla Gun. I'm in Jamaica. She's in Jamaica. We linked up. We've been having fun. Like, good vibes. Do you understand what I'm saying? And if there's a relationship, a friendship that's going to come out of it, it's going to come out of it. But I'm tired of people messaging me about her. I'm tired of people telling me be careful of her. I'm tired of people having negative shit to say. Where's my brother? I'm, I'm just tired of it. Like, Every time I'm around someone, people always message me about them. Like, I'm sick of it. And I'm probably sure she's probably getting... I'm probably sure people are messaging her about me. Do you know what I mean? That's fucking fun. I'm probably sure people are messaging her about me as well. But it's just like... Oh! This fan is in the way. Got burned apart. He's got told me you've got to burn the grabber before you use it. <laughs> I don't like the smell of it, though. It smells really bad. Times I get crazy. No. I don't... What do you mean? Yeah, sort the birthday girl out. She's literally in the cab right now going to pick up the her replacement wig that I told my friend to give her. She's messaging me one minute. Her replacement wig is sorted. I just took a loss to be honest because the wig that I've given her is worth £350 and the wig that she paid for is £190. I took a loss. But it is what it is. I ain't chatting to certain certain people no more and certain people can't chat to me no more because I told them about their blood clot. I have no fucking manners. Tired of being so nice to people. Sometimes I wish I had superpowers where I can just do this and stop the fad. <laughs> Because now I have to get up to stop the fan and I really cannot be bothered to get up and stop the fan. I'm trying to build my zoo because I actually want to go out tonight. Like, tonight? <laughs> Tonight's Friday night. Friday night, I got to see my man. It's not, I swear that's a song. And then I'm finishing my whole sleeve. So painful. You know, at times I get crazy, dad. 
Houston. I, I, I moved from Houston. I'm not living there no more. Um, I'm going to be at a different state. And tonight I'm going out. <laughs> Listen, at the end of the day, it's not my money spending because I ain't got no money right now. <laughs> and the people that have mad money I spend. <laughs> ah! <sighs> my paycheck will drop back again in a couple of days. YouTube just been difficult. But... Yeah, I'm moving from Houston. I'm not living in Houston no more. Get too much fighting in my life. And everything we have on in my life. Gosh! That's so what I'm saying. I don't like depending on people for me to get to point A to point B to point C. And like, I just feel like it's just not for me. And I want to go, I want to go to a different state. Houston, bro, you have to drive. You can't just walk places, bro. You have to drive to certain places. And just not with it anymore, to be honest. Which one's the sticky bit? About the whole bank card situation. And I was like, I didn't, to be honest, you see me. Like, I will get, I'll be pissed, I'll be upset about something and pissed off about something for a while, yeah? And then I just like forget about it and don't care anymore. But bro, my friend was telling me the other day, like Ren, like why are you, why have you just completely forgot about the whole bank card situation? And I'm just like, because like I just need peace in my life. Like, I ain't got time. I just really don't have time to deal with people. Like I let me tell you a lot something. You see, I let me tell you something. You see me, yeah. Because I know I can be so rude and disrespectful, right? And I don't want to be rude to certain people, right? Because I have love for them. The way I deal with things is ignoring people. Do you understand what I'm saying? I would, me, I can be so nonchalant, it is disgusting. So, and this is just people in general. Like, I'm speaking, like, in general. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, the way I deal with things nowadays, I ignore people. Because I know I can be disrespectful and I don't want to disrespect nobody. I'm trying to be a better me. So I just ignore. But. Like I left the whole card situation. I ignored it and just came to Jamaica or whatever. Um, do you know what I mean? But. The shiny bit, bruv. Like. I've just, I'm not gonna lie, I just don't feel it. Like I say, you came back so fucking quick. I just don't feel it, like, and I haven't been feeling it. Like, when I left Houston, I left Houston and I came to Jamaica. I like Jamaica more than I like Houston. And I don't, it's not because I had a boyfriend at the time, I just genuinely fucked with Jamaica more than I fucked with Houston. And then, after that, I got flewed out somewhere. I didn't tell anyone. I got flewed out to another state. And I really enjoyed the state that I was in. Like, I, I, could, I was able to go to places without having... I, I was able to go to places without like, being in a car and stuff. I just felt like, you know, it's just that place is not for me, man. Yeah, I spent more time in Jamaica than I spent in Houston. I didn't, I, like, I don't know. It just wasn't for me. This wasn't for me. It is what it is. What's meant for you is for you. Do you understand what I'm saying? If it's not for you, then it's just not for you. So. I ain't doing this with you lot today, no. I ain't got time for this bullshit today, bruv. 
Because now people are trying to piss me off. So, yeah, like, I'm basically, I moved out of my apartment. I don't live there no more. When I was in a relationship, when I was in a relationship with that pussy old, he made me, he made me consider moving to Jamaica. So I gave up the house. Like, I just gave up the apartment. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because, you know, one, one, when he brought it to my knowledge, I was actually contemplating on it anyway. Like, I was thinking to myself, I don't even enjoy being in Houston. So what he's saying anyway makes sense to me at the time. And plus, we was, like, trying to do this whole serious relationship thing. So when he brought that to my knowledge, and I'm in my back of my head, I was always thinking of leaving Houston anyway. I just wasn't going to tell anybody. Do you understand? Until I had my plan sorted out. But when he brought it to my knowledge, I was like, you know what? It makes sense. I don't even want to be in Houston anyway. Like, I must just come to Jamaica because I actually enjoy being in Jamaica. Like, I, I love this. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, like, I end up not, like, staying in the apartment no more, whatever. And me and him broke up. <laughs> My life is a movie. I'm just waiting to start the show. I got majority of my stuff. Bad to bad. I'm leaving Jamaica soon, though. y'all just need to just understand that i'm doing whatever makes me happy you understand what i'm saying i just that's what i'm doing you like say when am i come back to the uk come back to the uk to do what like i don't i'm not happy in london like london makes me so emotional like it makes me depressed it's cold there's nothing to do like i wake up in the morning here and i have so much things to do here like I go for a walk in the sun, like, I hold a meds to myself, you know, I, like, I eat fresh, amazing fruit. Blood clap, my phone needs to charge. I tell you, I lost fucking weight. I love this. The sun is working. Yeah, I have grubber in this. Let me turn on the AC, babe. Because, like, I'm not living in America no more, but I'm moving to a different state. Oh, I'm moving to a different state. And I'm moving yeah like what else can i say like i'm not in a relationship no more <laughs> i was scammed <laughs> a nigga used me lied to me it was all fake you know what can i say i don't trust people i don't feel like i don't feel like people is genuine I feel like everybody's just a bunch of fake ass fucking sheep. And you know, I'm a walking damaged soul. <laughs> My blood clot sucks. Bad to bad. It was never a relationship. It was a prank. <laughs> it was a prank. <laughs> I was never in a relationship. It was a prank. I got scabbed. 
No, but on some real nigga shit, I am I'm, I'm healing from that though. Like, I am healing from that because you know, as much as okay, as much as I'm laughing right now and I'm high or whatever, and I I literally finished the hot that that cup of rum that I was drinking. I'm healing from that situation. I am like without putting a front on without like pretending that took a lot out of me that really hurt me like i'm super broken about that situation because everything on my end was so genuine everything on my end was so real to the core and because i knew i was very much invested in that relationship and you know you know what i mean never in a million years did i thought somebody could be so evil like that so obviously like right now i'm healing do you know you understand what i'm saying every time you don't see me drink or anytime you don't see me smoke or you see me go out to have a party just to try to enjoy myself You know what hurt me? Let me tell you what. You know, you, you know, you, you know how. Let me tell. You, let me tell you how I knew. I was done with that man. When he, I was done with that man. When he looked me in my looked me in my eyes in front of the police officer, and I looked at eyes in front of the police officer and I looked at him and I was like God is going to punish you karma is gonna hit you you looked you looked the police officer in the eye you know I, I swear I, I get nightmares of this shit because I still can't I still can't adjust to what happened like I I still get I'm I'm like wow I never knew there's men out there that is that wicked. People will do anything. Anything. I thought to myself, Ren, you're a big person, you know, Ren. People know you, you know, Ren. People got to say your name and get a... You know, all people got to do is say your name and get views. And you're fucking with a small boy that can't even buy you nothing in life. Trust me when I say I sit down and hold meds. The same way you see me smoking right now, I sit down and I talk to myself and I hold meds like, you need to stop settling. You settle too much, baby girl. You don't even look cute no more. Honestly, as much as I hate my ex, one of my exes, blacks, I'm not going to lie. That is one nigga that actually would give me money. Him and my first ever boyfriend. They would give me money. Really like. As much as they cheat and did all that dumb shit. That's one nigga I can say. Gave me money. Invest in me. Invest into my businesses. Will come home and just throw money on me like. That's one thing I can actually say is blacks. As much as I don't like the nigga. When it comes to money and knowing how to treat a woman by taking care, like giving money and stuff, he was one person that gave me money and would, you know, buy me shit. My first ex, Samuel, Samuel that leaked my nudes all over social media, he always gave me money, always bought me flowers, always spoiled me. I don't know. Ever since Blacks, it's just been like a fucking roller coaster, I guess. I just been picking up garbage. Who knows? Your problem is you can't stay by yourself. You need to take a break. You're getting old, man. Come and suck my clitoris. That's what you need to do because I've no I haven't had my pussy eaten in a very long time. So don't come tell me what you think is best for me, sweetheart. Take your own advice, okay? And make sure you're living a perfect life out there. 
if I don't want to stay by myself and I have to stay by myself, I get man. I'm by myself now, I'm at, ain't I? So what's the issue? And if I was taking a man, you wouldn't fucking know about it. About the problems, I can't stay by myself. I can stay by myself. I choose not to stay by my fucking self. And who's going to tell me otherwise? If I want to lay up in bed with a man and make a man come do what he wants to do to me, that's what's going to happen. I can call a nigga right now. I can call a nigga right now and say, I want to cuddle with you. And he will fly over here. Please. I'm in control. I'm 27. You bitches are acting like I'm 30 or 35. Please. Even when I'm in my 30s, I'm still going to be doing shit and you're not going to like it. And you're not going to drag me for my age. But I don't care. Please. Babe, I'm young and I'm lit and I'm outside. City girl's gone up 2.0. What's next? You don't like to use my age on me. Oh, you're 27. Da, da, da. So what? I'm 27 and I look goddamn good for a 27 year old. Most of you 27 year olds can't chat for me. Always want to mention my age. Me out of the people in man money, make people in man mind you. Honestly, you're a popular fucking loner. My tattoo is hard, you know. Look at this. Can't look at my tattoo. Respectfully, stop watching everything I do. Because I will make you go crazy. And I'm indirecting you. You know what, I would appreciate it if certain people, because I know certain people are in my life right now and I'm indirecting you. I know you're in my life right now. Respectfully, stop watching everything I do because I will make you go crazy. Okay? Oh, Ren must got money and that. Ren did, Ren get, Ren, Ren gets a tattoo. Oh, Renee's got money. Do you know everybody that wants to do things with me wants promo and I don't even care? Babe. I barely pay for stuff. People just want promo, so it's not a problem. Who's here? And I still haven't sold a car yet. Stop watching everything I do. I'm thinking you can talk to me like you're my mother. The fuck you think you are? My new response in life is blocking people, you know? Motherfuckers ain't even worth my reaction no more. And I don't fuck, I don't, I don't, I don't speak to no one that talks to ops. I told you lot, like, once you show me that you're disloyal, I don't rate you no more. Once you show me you're disloyal, cut you off in a blink of a fucking eye you talk to anybody that has beef with me or anybody that's ever disrespected me on social media and i will never ever fucking speak to you again i don't care i don't care about nothing it's simple as that loyalty is loyalty and that's why a lot of relationships or friendships i've had doesn't work out for me because niggas don't know how to be loyal bro people don't know how to be loyal and that's the problem i have because if my friend don't chat to you because you was beefing her or something, you would never see me talk to that person, you know? You would never see me talk to that person, you know? I don't talk to any of my friends that tells me, Ren, I got beef for that girl or that girl's my op. You would never see me trying to be friendly with her op. Are you crazy? My friend's op is my op. Because if, if I'm out with my friend and that, that op tried to jump my friend, I'm backing it. 
I'm backing it. I don't need no one to tell me nothing. The moment I'm walking in the street, my friend and her op tries to jump in and beat her up. I'm not going to stand there. I'm swinging. We're fighting, babe. Me and my friend's going to end up in cells. It is where it is. At least we know we're not pussies. But don't think you're going to chat to my op and I'm going to just be like, hee hee ha ha with you. Fuck you, girl. No. Niggas can't be tamed out here. Don't mind me. I'm just going to build another fucking zoo. Everyone said it's tonight, we're going party. Now I got wash I got wash my wig because that glue shit is just so bad on it. I want to do a nice little ponytail. I need like an hour and a half to do my makeup. I need to do my nose again. Have a nice day to you, Ida Weber. Love baby. Have a nice day to you. Stop trying to figure out who I'm talking about because I'll never tell you guys what I'm talking about. Stop trying to figure out who I'm talking about. At the end of the day, I don't fuck with no one that fucks with my ops. I know, I haven't finished my tattoo. It all here's got to be done. I just, all here's got, all here's got to be done. Inside here's got to be done. All here, like, all these naked bits. I reached my limit. I was like, uh. I said, boss, I can't. Mm -mm. I, I tapped out. I said, please, give me some time. I think it's, I'm doing it on, like, Sunday or something. Honestly, I can't do Dex's name. I've got two niggas' names on my arm. You know I'm actually fucking damaged. This is really ridiculous, friend. I have four niggas' name tattoos on me. And I'm trying to cover every four, one of them, all four niggas up. And I wonder why people call me Christina Rock. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm just a bit fucked. Yeah, let me see. One. Let me. Mm -mm. It's fine. This is crazy. But it's okay. A new start. Awesome. a new star I'm covering everyone's name up but obviously he wanted to start on my top sleeve go all the way to me four, five that tattooed on me find someone to taxi or uber the car or get something every month I think it will look a good business hun where? in America But nobody knows I have five niggas name on me. I just told you that. And it's not like I go into a relationship telling them. I mean, when Dwayne asked me, who's Nana? <laughs> I said, my grandma. <laughs> who's Nana? My grandma in England. Man said, who is Nana? I said, my grandma. So why'd you call her Nana? Because the English people call their grandma Nana. <laughs> bad to bad. My mom always used to tell me what they don't know won't hurt them so as long as any niggas that i know don't know that's my ex's name then i'm good it's gucci babe taxi or something where in jamaica taxis where america or jamaica because if it's jamaica i've already started you lot just beat me to it by pulling it out there you'll see in one of my vlogs
oh you lot beat me to you lot too enough because i vlogged it it's on my camera i'm investing in, i'm investing in three taxis and i'm gonna customize the cars i came up with a whole business name i kind of want to run a lot of taxis so that i feel like every month I'm gonna start banging YouTube videos because I'm not like YouTube pay is very good. So I'm gonna invest my all my YouTube paychecks. Come in. Come. I'm gonna invest some money. I'm gonna have to do a couple story times. I'm gonna have to do these story times. These story times pay me like about let me not say my figures, but they pay good. <laughs> So I'm gonna have to do a couple story times. When you don't see me do story time, just know Ren is trying to invest out here. <laughs> but yeah, like um, I put some, I put down some money, my last bit of money on some. I tell you, I don't mind going broke and eating Indomies, you know, for another month. I'm good. I'm fine with it. I know how to, I know how to wall out and hold out until I get money again. But um, I'm investing into like taxis out here in Jamaica. I want to invest in like a good couple and then like customize it in my brand and stuff like that and then like do my taxis because at the end of the day i'm buying my i want to buy a house out here i don't want to build because people in jamaica are teeth they'll teeth your materials so i want to build i want to build my own house I told you my baby like my baby's got to get my baby's got to have everything my batteries all that and my son son can't come in this world and not have anything my son's got to be set for life you understand i gotta do what i gotta do i'm not trying to depend on fucking benefits for my child to eat food are you dumb nothing wrong with people that's on benefit but you see me the standard that i have for myself and i don't care who feels some type of way when i say this shit i can't be that mum that depends on the government for my child to eat food. Shout out to all the single mum out there that's on benefit and it's helping you lot, but no disrespect to you lot, cannot be disrespectful. I'm just saying me, I just can't be that girl that just dashes out picnic out here and I'm depending on the government. Because you know you have some girl that just fuck and fuck and fuck and fuck. And then all they do is just, they don't want to work, they want to depend on the government for them to eat. Nah, brother, man can't do that, rude boy. Uh -uh, fuck that. So I'm not rushing. I'm just trying to like set myself, set my future so that I can be comfortable. Do you know what I mean? And Jamaica, I actually love it here. I don't know why I love being in here, being here, but it's so lit. <laughs> no, I'm not broke. I pick up eight grand and gave my I, I I picked up eight grand bought a car in Jamaica, end up selling that car cost me eight thousand. I'm gonna sell the car, and when I sell the car, I'm gonna invest. I haven't sold a car because I gotta go to court. <laughs> Shit. I gotta go to court in Jamaica. I done my statement. I went to the police station. I wrote the statement that they kept asking me for. So it's going court now. I don't know why Dwayne has to be. Why is he being like this? I really don't understand why you're being this stubborn. Big girl like me. What am I going to court for? In JA. I meant to look for the other bloody tweezer. I'm sitting here smoking the zoo. Check. Like, I don't understand. Am I that salt or what? I'm pissed off as well. 
Because why do I keep missing my check? Like, I don't understand. Am I that salt or what? Oh. Today was payday. And I'm angry because today's payday. I really want to go out and enjoy my life. But I changed my bank details on YouTube last a day before payday. Like, does that even make sense? Probably next week, Friday, they'll pay. If I'm pregnant, would I be smoking? Come on. What's, yeah, they take tax out. They take 30. I'm losing weight, like. I just can't wait to be a size 10 again. I just love my tattoo. Are you dumb? Play with me. I would like you to go play with your soul and not come in here and come play with me. Sure that HMRC used to tax me twenty percent. You see this? You see this? I can never lose this. This. I rather use the I rather lose my laptop and my camera but to lose this. You see this? <laughs> my God. Like I hide I hide it before I go to sleep. <laughs> Are you crazy? You think I'm losing that? Hide that shit. Oh, I need to come off live because she's saying I need to go find some tweezers of the t <sighs> me and great. The day I come back is the day I do me and great. But come back for what? For people to attack me on, on um TikTok every day. I can't deal with it, man. I can't deal with people.